Hey guys, Jeremy LaFrance with Backstage Entertainment. Here again with Robert Ortiz of Escape the Fate. Robert, we were just talking, we saw each other back in May. You guys played right here in Council Bluffs for Rockfest. Uh, how's the summer kind of been going since then? Uh, it's been pretty crazy actually. We've been doing a lot more festivals. We're on the currently on the Uproar or Rockstar Energy Drink Uproar, Uproar Festival. Festival. There yeah. you go, long name. And, uh, <laughs> and actually this, this uh, show today is essentially all the same bands except we have sick puppies on here today yep. and see there is not here yep. so other than that it's the same tour and but it's a new festival for you guys in this area yeah but, exactly. but it's it's been pretty cool I mean the shows have been the, the they've varied from you know a couple disappointing ones and we're playing for a, a empty arena by the time Avenge goes on it's like you know 20,000 yeah. people but for us it's we're playing to, you know, a lot more people than we would be, but they're spread out, so it looks kind of wow. awkward to playing in front of, you know, 20,000 people ourselves, yeah. you know, and so every show's been completely different. You get a beautiful day like today. Most of the shows have been raining like crazy. We've oh, been right. having hurricanes and tropical storms right, follow right. us. I heard and, you guys in New and, Jersey or yeah, this is a, Yeah, this is supposed to be like the kind of end of summer, you yeah. know, switching into fall, like the last thing for a... Uh, for uh, you know the summer festival sort of thing, but it's turned out to just be wet and stuck on the bus all day. So. Yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly. So really, your message to the fans that are attending, you know, future uproar dates is get there early so you guys can check you guys out and everything. Because I mean, we got two stages going on here, so it's trying to get from one to the next and seeing everybody play. Yeah, huh? yeah. Well, what happens with the, with the show actually is that the second stage closes out before we're on. So while I'm not encouraging walking out on Seven Dust because I like those guys, um, as a matter of fact, I made a friend with one of their bandmates because I I found he likes boxing just as much as I do, and really? we were watching Floyd Mayweather fight together the okay, other the other okay. week or last week, <laughs> yeah. and um, and so I'm not encouraging walking out on them, but run from their set over to ours. Right, so, right. Catch yeah. the end and yeah. run down to see you guys, right? Exactly. Okay. Now off of your guys' new album, I mean, it's a self-titled album, which is your third one. When you guys are playing on stage, what song do you think fans react to and get most excited about when you're playing on stage? Actually, at this point, it's it's kind of weird because it's, it's, it's a toss-up between Gorgeous Nightmare and yep. Issues, at least at these festivals that we've been playing, which, you know, is attributed to a lot of the radio play that we've been getting and and those are like our biggest singles of our career so far which is right. which is pretty incredible you know and so it's it's kind of odd to see that when we're used to our diehard fans that come see us on uh, you know when it, it's just us and right you know they like some of the older stuff and then they dig some of the heavier new stuff so to hear like the straight up like more pop rocks like yeah. straight ahead songs that we have to hear those go off is, is pretty incredible so i would say those two are on fairly even terms with gorgeous nightmare being uh possibly a little bit bigger right, you know? right. when that riff starts you know you see the girls start dancing and <laughs> it's a good feeling yeah i say it's got to be great showing yeah. that your music's gone out there and people are singing along yes. it's probably a great feeling well, now like i mentioned before the interview we have what we we call the bsc box which was not unveiled when we did our first interview oh, wow. so what uh, is going to happen here, we had fans submit Facebook questions uh, and on our Facebook page. So you guys can go to Backstage Entertainment on Facebook and get your questions in here to ask these guys. But uh, he's going to, Robert's going to pick some of his own questions out and answer them that way. So Now before, before I do this, I would just let some of my fans that I love and adore know that I'm probably uncomfortable with your the questions you really, really want to ask, and I well, probably won't answer them if some of them are on here. <laughs> I will leave you guessing. Right. So let's start. This is from. Uh, it doesn't this say. This is from Facebook. We'll say. Facebook. <laughs> okay. So, what is my favorite or least favorite tattoo? If none, do you want any? Obviously, you have well, some. You can I see have, one on your arm at I least. I have kind of two tattoos. I have this thing, and I have this. Okay. Um, I kind of wish I didn't get it. I don't. I don't know. I'm not into tattoos. Uh, I was young and I was like, yeah, dude, I'm gonna get something. It's pretty cool, I guess. It's sort of like a you know, reminder for me. The whole point is it's, you know, it's like a angel, you know, and I got the, I guess it looks cooler than a drum set, you know, it'd be like <laughs> medieval with a drum set would be kind of weird. But it was sort of a reminder of, for me just to be like, you know, music saved right. my life when I was growing up. And so I have to give back to it and work really, really hard in doing it. And that's why I got the tattoo. 
I wish I didn't because it's like just, you know, like I, I just don't like having it. I don't, I don't, I want to go back and do something else maybe. Or oh, really? uh, at some point I could possibly get more, but I'm not really looking into it right now because I got to think ahead, you know? I like that's the whole point. I don't want to be like a 50 year old man and just be like, oh gosh, I don't yeah. want this. So <laughs> tattoos are kind of weird to me because uh, I think ahead like that. Um, this initial RO with a cross, uh, my father and my grandfather have the same thing. Uh -huh. So that one I don't regret because it's just kind of, I guess I have to carry on the tradition. Okay. And if I have a kid, I have to name him something with an R, I guess, you know, so you so can get your, the same thing. Yeah. For your fans out there yeah, thinking yeah. about tattoos, maybe think twice. Here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm not saying don't get them, but think twice for sure right, about right. it. Make sure you, you really do want it. So All right, well, let's, let's reach into another, another one, one. Oh, gosh. All right, here we go. Let's see. All right. Uh, let's try let's a different one. Let's, let's try a different one. Yeah, let's try a different one. That's all right. Let me see. If the band was on a deserted island, which member would you eat first and why? That's a good one, I think. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> um, well, if I were to eat Max, I would probably get high. So I would probably just kill him and not eat him. If I were to eat Craig, I would get drunk. <laughs> so maybe I'd eat him. Uh, so bad, I, huh? Yeah, it's <laughs> maybe I'd be alone, right? So I might as well get wasted. There you go. Uh, I don't know. I'd probably just eat my own arm or something, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the only one I trust. Yep, exactly. you know, so it's all good. Well, let's, let's try, try another one. one. Eat my own self. There you go. Let's see, what do you enjoy most about being in the band? Hmm. Honestly, this is a this is a fair question because yeah. it's like being in a band is is you know it's it's very beautiful in a lot of ways. You get to experience a lot of things that you know people dream of doing and wish they could do, and that you know that is being able to share your art for people and you know and or share your art with people. And it's, it's a, when when people appreciate it and they get it, it's a really really good feeling and. You know, to know that you're that you're working on some and some that you truly feel something great for, and to have other people respond is is incredible. You know, there's a lot of, you know, the physical aspects about being tra on. You know, we're traveling a lot. We're being on, in, we go to a lot of different places. You know, you you see different ways of life. You know, and you see all kinds of cultures and yep. meet so, so many different people. And it's just it's really incredible. You know, my my mom actually always reminds me to enjoy it and take a lot of pictures and stuff you know yeah, and you have you be having a bad day but it's like you know fuck it i'm in italy right now you know what i mean or i'm in council bluffs iowa that's right fuck it it doesn't matter it's really cool to just see a lot of things does it you know does it wear you out yeah you know because at some point all the little things you start to miss i miss my dog i miss my girlfriend i miss you know my my parents i miss being able to sleep in my own bed you know like those oh, yeah. things those things get big and they wear on you but you got to take a step back and you know appreciate that you get to see so many interesting things right. and a big part of it is the fans and, and a lot of people say and it's it's kind of cheesy but you know they make it worth it to you you know even though sometimes they're mad at you and, and they don't understand why you do certain things you do and and it upsets them at the end of the day is because they care about you all right well you heard it from robert with escape the fate once again go check out their self-titled third album and uh check out escape the fate guys Hey everyone, make sure to like Backstage Entertainment on Facebook to see our photos, to enter yourself into contests for autographed prizes, and other news. Also, make sure to click the subscribe button on YouTube to check out the rest of our videos. And you can find us on Twitter to get updates about what we're doing. For Backstage Entertainment, this is Jeremy LaFrance.